Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be using the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette to do a back to school grunge look. Um, I'm using my Wet n Wild concealer to um, prime my eyes and I'm taking my beauty blender and just buffing that out. Next I'm going to be um, taking the palette and I'm going to be picking up the colors Roxanne and Jax and I'm going to take just a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to pack that onto the lid um, just using both of those colors dipping back and forth and then packing them on the lid. Um, I'm taking a little bit of shadow at a time and just um, increasing that depth. Um, you don't want to put too much on at one time because you might get some fallout and you also um, it might end up using too much that you don't need. And then I'm taking that same Roxanne and Jacks shadow and packing it on the other eye. Um, like I said, you can use any kind of eyeshadow brush. I'm just using um, a fat, fluffy, kind of dense eyeshadow brush to pack on these two colors. Okay, so up close to you. Next, I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to dip into Pooter and Pukey and I'm going to get on the edges of those um, last two shades and I'm just going to blend those out with those two colors because we don't want any harsh lines, no edges as Jaclyn Hill would say. And I'm just going to be blending back and forth, back and forth. Um, this grungy kind of red, burnt, orange eyeshadow look is really in right now. So I figured it would be a fun way for back to school kids and college kids to kind of amp up their everyday school look. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to dip back in to that pooter and that pukey color and just blend the edges out. And then I'm going to go ahead and take those same colors and I'm going to start blending out the other eye. Just going back and forth in windshield wipe motions. Um, I also do like kind of circular, like swirly kind of motions with the brush. Um, I'm using just a regular blending brush. You can use any kind of blending brush. This one is um, kind of dense, but also fluffy on the, the top. And I'm just blending out that pooter and that pukey color you know, making sure there's no harsh lines. And I'm blending on the outside edges. I'm kind of winging out my eyeshadow a little bit just to give it a more dramatic effect. Now I'm taking a fluffier blending brush and I'm going to dip into a Silk Cream and MFEO in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just going to blend out those last two colors just to give it a real gradient effect. Okay, now I'm going back in to those first two colors, which was Roxanne and Jax. And I'm gonna do the under eye, connecting it to the outside wing. And just buffing it right along the lower lashes. And do it to both sides. Always tapping off any excess. That really helps prevent fallout. All right, so now I'm going into Creamsicle, and I'm just going to buff that into the lower lash line along with those last two colors because that helps it to not have any harsh um, lines and not be too blunt. Okay, just an up-close view of that. <laughs> now I'm just taking um, Rimmel London's Matte Stay Matte setting powder and I'm just kind of buffing that all along my face. I already did my foundation before. And then I'm going to take the Ofra Cosmetics Rendezvous blush. I'm just going to blend that into my cheeks. And then I'm taking the Wet n Wild um, highlighter and that is in Precious Petals. It's called the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I'm highlighting my nose, my cupid's bow, and my cheekbones. 
Now I'm just going to add some mascara. And as you can see, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows with my trusty old NYX um, micro brow pencil. I believe the shade that I use is chocolate. And since I'm going for this grungy look, I'm going to do a little deeper, thicker, kind of more dramatic eyebrow. And then I just do the same thing to the other eye, but as we all know, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So they don't have to look exactly perfect or exactly identical. And then I like to just run the spoolie through it because it gives it a more natural look. All right, guys. So this is the finished product. Um, I hope that you liked it. Hope that you think this um, is an easy kind of eye look for back to school. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.